Good morning, second grade. Ms. Fogelman here for your math lesson. Today is November the 24th and we have our unknowns assessment today. But before we have that, I did want to go over a problem with you as an example. Our learning target today is that the student will create an equation with an unknown and complete the problem. Our problem today is Sam had to pay for his lost library book. He paid $15 to the library. Now he has $36 left. How much money did he ha have to begin with? So let me grab my pen. All right. So we know that he paid $15 for his lost library book. And we know that he had $36 um, left after he paid. So how much money did he have before he had to pay for the book? Okay, that's our question. So our unknown equation, because our unknown is how much money he had to begin with, is our box, okay? And we're subtracting from that amount $15 because that's how much he had to pay to the library. And then we know that he had $36 once he was done paying for his library book, okay? So we need to figure out how much money he started with, okay? So I think I'm going to use my number line today. And I'm going to start at $15 and I'm gonna add up until I get to $36. So I'm starting with my $15 here. Ooh, my pen is not working. And I'm trying to see, I'm sorry, <laughs> Ms. Fogelman said that wrong. I'm starting at $15 and I'm adding 36 until I get to some unknown number here, okay? So it's the last day before break. All right. So I'm adding $36 because I want to see how much we started with. And the only way to do that is to add these two numbers together to get this total before I subtract it. So I'm going to first add five because that gets me to a good um, multiple of 10. So that is 20. Okay, because 15 plus five is 20. Now I'm going to add 20 more. 20 plus 20 is 40. Okay, and now let's see, I've added 25, that's not 36 yet. So I think I'm gonna add another 10 Add 10 here. So that gets me 50. Okay. And then let's see, that's 20, 35. I still need to add one more, right? To get me to this unknown number. So I'm going to add one. And that gets me to 51. So the amount of money that he had before Four, he paid for his library book was $51, okay? So just so that I can be sure that I'm right, okay? Because this, what I did here was I started at 15, which is this number here, and I added 36 to get to that number that I had before I paid for the library book, which I decided was $51. So let me see if I <laughs> clear my drawings and then I just rewrite my $51 minus $15 because that's how much he paid for his book equals $36, okay. So let's see if I was right. So again, I have my number line. Okay. 
And here, I I'm gonna start over here with my 51 and I'm gonna subtract 15 and see if I get to 36. So I'm subtracting 10 and that takes me to 41. And then I'm not real sure about subtracting five. So I think I'm gonna subtract one first to get me to a multiple of 10. So that takes me to 40. And then I still have four more to subtract because this is only 11 and I need 15. So if I subtract four from 40, I get 36. So my answer of 51 minus 15 equals 36 is correct. $51 is the amount that Sam started with before he had to pay for his lost book. All right, so let me clear this screen. Get my mouse back. Uh, there is a Google Form assessment in your slideshow. Please make sure you take that. And please make sure you uh, work out your problem on a separate sheet of paper. And that is all I have for you today. Uh, make sure you get that work done so you can enjoy your long weekend.